Hi guys, this is Duncan from Dunksweb.com and here I am with the Windows 8 Consumer Preview. I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys sort of around it. It's kind of a first hands-on thing. I've uh, been on it for about five minutes or so. So I thought I'd go ahead and give you a tour around it see what it looks like. So if you don't know, Windows 8 is kind of like a tabletified Windows 7. That's the best way to explain it. So we're here greeted with this screen showing the time and date when you first sign on. Looks like it's trying to connect to the internet. But you need to do some sort of gesture to move this off the screen, so you just have to click this off and drag it up. And there is my sign-on information. This was asked when I first installed it, which is kind of similar to Windows 7. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. It's using the uh, pixelated picture from Windows Live Messenger, which it grabs. You're now met with this Metro-style interface. It looks very flash, very swish. It's got live tiles that are updating. You can drag things around, move them around. Uh, very similar to Windows Phone, if you've had that before. Now I am running this inside a virtual machine which isn't recommended but if you're running a resolution of 1024 by 768 or lower I think if it's actually just lower it won't run some of the apps that are included here. Now you can go to the store and there's a lot of apps in the store and they're all available for free currently so you go to top page and there isn't any in the top page category that's because they're all free and you can see we've got a bunch of the things you already know about like cut the rope, you can bunch of different things you can check through and grab them while you can for free. I will provide the download link to this consumer preview in the description. So, I am in the store. This is very, very tablet-like. I can drag along, blah, 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 blah. So how do I get back to this menu I was just at to find another app? And you actually have to drag your mouse over the bottom left and you'll see this little start bit or the top right and you'll see a bunch of icons or the bottom right does exactly the same thing and you see that start thing in the middle you do have the option to search the entire system share out to a bunch of networks which I'm sure you guys would love to do and uh, you can see the devices which is uh, kinda like device manager I think a very very simplified version apparently I have a second screen and uh, you can go ahead and do that so let's go back to the start menu so if you are panicking by now and you're thinking how do I get to the desktop I need to get to my apps there is simply a tile called desktop clicking that will bring you to a Windows 7 style interface but notice that there's no start button now rem remembering that this is a consumer preview and things are subject to change if I drag my mouse over the bottom left hand side it looks like the start thing is highlighted as if I was to drag the mouse over back onto this ignoring the max bar there <laughs> uh, and it just uh, it doesn't do it like it disappears so you're expected to actually hover and click in that corner if that makes sense so there's exactly the same thing on the top left so if I go to the top left I can start switching through my apps but I, if, as soon as I leave that corner of the screen it disappears which you would think it would stay there while you click but it disappears so you have to click in the corner right directly in the corner it's kind of reliant on you being able to get to that corner and uh, it, I believe it does have the snap feature as well but that also has some hardware dependent things so getting back into the metro interface I'm just going to demo a few things let's have a look at the weather for today again they're all app previews so they're all subject to change go ahead and use my location and there we go apparently that is the weather for me it's pretty nice, pretty swish. Again, I see it, for me it seems like it's uh, all directed towards tablet because these are the sort of things I'd expect to see on if you remember those little Expressgate Linux distributions that would show you a bunch of things like this and then you had the option to go to a full Windows desktop and you always end up going to the desktop. You never use that Expressgate. But you can see, oh yeah, that's another thing. Windows uh, in Explorer 10 this is what it looks like inside that and you will find that some of the apps on the start menu will open up inside uh, the desktop so uh, a bunch of these things here Windows Explorer again opens up inside and as you can see nothing's really changed here it's still pretty much Windows 7 other than the fact that it's got a few extra bits and then again you have to keep going into that corner to go back to the start many people might like it but I just don't understand why they don't have a start button there like why why change from that or at least have a button that has the logo that's shown on the right which I can't get access to at the moment so apparently that toolbar doesn't happen here but it, it just it doesn't seem logical for it to be like that anyway uh, go to camera will the camera work it'll probably open up my camera I'm gonna hide myself if it does but you have video mode camera options so that's a nice feature that you don't normally get in Windows you usually get um, you have to download a separate thing to record from the camera but this has it built in so 
this is just kind of a quick look. Uh, not really much to look at um, if you're interested. You can go ahead and download it. You can view it in a virtual machine. Uh, there's a bunch of different apps that you can try out. Highly recommend it, but if you are one of those people who use it as a work machine, you're going to go straight to that desktop and you're going to ignore all this. And I hope they do give an option for people to do this, but it's definitely something to take a look at. It's a different way to do things, and if you have a tablet, it will be much much better to use. So thanks for watching this video, please comment, rate, subscribe if you like these videos and thanks again. Sorry guys, quick cut in at the end, I just thought I'd go ahead and show you the settings that are on here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do the whole go to the settings bit here and click it and it pretty much shows you what's in the system tray, what you'd normally find in Windows 7 only bigger so you can go ahead and change things like this. Have a look at the network devices, apparently my network is connected, that's exciting. And uh, there is the power thing because I was a bit confused at the start because you go onto the start area and I'd click this which says I can sign out which you'd assume the, the shutdown would be there. But you have to go ahead and go into the settings first to then find shutdown. So if you want to shut down quickly you've got to go through a set of hoops to try and find it. So anyway going into the settings, uh, oh this is the start settings, okay. Let's go to the actual settings which I assume is in a... Thing somewhere? Is it in here? Um, I can't seem to find it. Alright, so apparently settings only gives you the start menu settings. Let's go to the more PC settings, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so here we are, I can change the uh, lock screen. See, the lock screen makes it sound like a phone. Then you've got the start screen, then you've got account picture. So I can go ahead and change that, I look forward to doing that. You have user. You have notifications, so you do get notifications on the right hand side. You get search, search for a bunch of stuff, all the apps you've downloaded, but that share thing that goes on the right hand side. General, so I can change my time, app switching, reset the PC. So I think it's got something called refresh, there we go, refresh your PC without affecting your files. This will essentially reinstall Windows uh, and it won't affect anything that you have on your PC, so I'm assuming you have to rely on the fact that it, keeps stuff in a certain place because if you put it outside it will delete it but we don't know I've not done that so far so we'll see uh, privacy uh, your location stuff exciting devices again a, a lighter version of uh, device manager ease of access a bunch of accessibility options sync your settings so you can sync the settings I'm guessing this is across multiple computers muted internet connections interesting cool uh, home group, if you've ever managed to get this working, then congratulations, but uh, yeah, you can do that through here. And Windows Update, so saying I have uh, five important updates, that's exciting, so I can do that eventually. And also, if you go to the App Store, uh, you can see updates there for your apps as well, very similar to the uh, other App Store. I'm guessing they call this diff something different than the App Store, but it just says, just says Store. So anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.